Well, given that factory farming is essentially how you know most Americans are getting their food and the prospect that this is a breeding ground for future pandemics, what do we do? I mean, is there a solution short of eradicating this entire system? What is the solution to this? Knowing that we can't flick a switch and end factory farming overnight, how do we get on, on you know, the right side of history with this? So if we really want to eliminate this threat, we really have to accelerate the movement away from animal agriculture towards plant-based milks, plant-based meats, plant-based egg products. And for those of you thinking that such a move is a pipe dream, have you looked at a dairy case lately, right? Dairy companies declaring bankruptcy because of crashing fluid milk sales, because of this preponderance of new consumer choices. Um, and we're seeing that same kind of um, increase in uh, consumer choices in the meat aisle as well. And ironically, who is leading this charge in innovating us out of this precarious situation? Tyson, Purdue, Smithfield, Hormel, uh, JBS, the largest meat packers in the world, all right now have uh, plant-based um, uh, meat products mm -hmm. out now. They are recognizing, uh, particularly with the, the the pressures on the on the you know the the, the source chain that, that that this pandemic has shown, it's more profitable. It's you know less labor costs, less food safety issues. I mean, mm -hmm. all down on down the risk of the externalities of business as usual. They see the writing on the wall, and they're reorienting themselves as protein companies rather than meat companies. Um, and so um, that so they're the ones that that are really leading the charge in terms of putting these uh, these products into the hands of kind of you know regular you know regular consumers. Mm -hmm.